here and says that to be your hand. We will begin our program with some songs about the four seasons. There are four seasons of the year. The first season is the spring. In the spring, you see the green grass. We watch the dogwoods bloom and we hear the bluebirds sing.
on the coldest day of winter, Nikki's grandmother asked him to go gather firewood. Grandmother said, bring back all the firewood you can find. So Nikki went out to gather wood in his beautiful white cat stick until his sled was well loaded. Then a very strange thing happened. Just as he picked up the last stick, he dropped one of his mittens in the snow. Now, she was very cold, and when she spied the little boy's mitten with its feathery fur cut, she popped right in to get warm. It was just the right size for a tiny little mouse. <laughs> Presently, a green frog came hip-hopping over the snow. <laughs> the frog asked, anybody home? Anybody home? The mouse said, only me. <laughs> they had no sooner settled themselves snugly in the red bull lining when an owl flew down. <laughs> the owl said, may I join you in that lovely mission? The mouse said, if you mind your manner, for owls always make her very nervous. It wasn't long before a rabbit came down the forest path. <laughs> the rabbit said, Is there room for me in that not warm mitten? The mouse said, uh, The rabbit said, It's awfully cold out here. The mouse said, Not much space left. But come on in. Even before the rabbit had gotten herself tucked in, a fox trotted up to the mitten. And after a good deal of trouble, he got himself in along with all the others. The mouse was beginning to think maybe she shouldn't have been so generous. But with the bitter wind outside, what else could she do? And now, as if things weren't bad enough, the next visitor was a big gray wolf, and he wanted to come in too. <laughs> Everyone moved around a bit, and finally the wolf was squeezed into the midst. It was very crowded by now, but at least it was very warm. Things had just gotten arranged nicely when the animals heard a great snorting. It was a wild boar, and he was very anxious to get in out of the wind. The mouse cried, oh dear, oh dear, for the mitten was already beginning to stretch a little. There just wasn't any more room. But the boar managed to get herself into the mitten, along with the mouse and the frog and the owl and the rabbit and the fox and the wolf. I know this is so because my grandfather told me. But the worst was yet to come. For who should appear now but a bear? He was very big and very cold. And all the animals cried, No room! No room! No room! No room! Even before the bear had a chance to speak, the bear said, Nonsense! There's always room for one more. And without so much as a please or a thank you, he began crawling into the mitten. He put his paw in. He was very old and his legs ached with the cold. When he saw the mitten, he thought, now that looks like a nice warm place. I'll just hop on over and see if I can squeeze in too. But ah oh, me, that's all that was needed to finish off the poor old mitten. The cricket had no more than put her first scratchy foot inside when, with a rip and a snap, the stitches came apart and the old leather cracked. 
popping all the animals into the snow. So back he went to see where he might have dropped the other one. But all he could find were the ripped apart pieces. <laughs> 